I realize you already know this. <laughs> I know. I'm just going to say it anyhow. This, it's, I'm saying it as a reminder. You know it, but I'm reminding you. I was reminded of this reality recently in my own life, so I'm passing it along as a little quick reminder to you. Ready? Here it is. We often are not aware of what other people are going through. We don't know what they're going through. And you know how this works. A lot of times, it's the people who look great. They look, and in fact, you ask them, and they tell you, everything's terrific. Oh, man, couldn't be better. Because we've been taught not to reveal, you know, every little problem we have in casual conversations with people. And I get that. I understand it. That makes sense to me. Yes, yes. But let's just remember, it's not uncommon. Sometimes, sometimes it's, it's these people who are smiling the most, the ones who look happy, they're cracking jokes left and right, oh man, the, the one who's the life of the party. These are often the ones who are dealing with tremendous hurt and sadness, stress, maybe depression, like real true depression, some kind of great pain, and they're not mentioning it. We don't know. You know, you look at somebody and it looks one way, we don't know. We don't know what other folks are going through. Oh, I know, hold on, wait, I know. The fact that somebody's dealing with significant troubles, like some really big deal, that doesn't give the person permission to treat everybody else poorly. I agree. That that's a, Their trouble is not a free pass then for them uh, to be rude or mean or treat everybody else like dirt. I get it. That's true. Yep. But I'm just reminding, it's just a little reminder here, that person, he or she, again, who, almost anyone we encounter, they may be dealing with something that um, <laughs> it would shock us. We'd be stunned if we were to find out what they're dealing with. Here, here, this is a great way to interact with people. This is from the book of Colossians. This is a wonderful way uh, for us to get along in just sort of a general sense to treat other people like this. Here's what it says. Colossians chapter 3, verses 12 through 14, it says, Since God chose you to be the holy people he loves, you must clothe yourselves with Ready? This is going to talk about how we, how we behave towards others. Clothe yourselves with tender-hearted mercy, kindness, humility, gentleness, patience, and patience. Verse 13, make allowance for each other's faults and forgive anyone who offends you. Remember, the Lord forgave you, so you must forgive others. Those of us who've been forgiven, God expects us to forgive then. And then verse 14, it closes, it says, Above all, clothe yourselves with love, which binds us all together in perfect harmony. Just about everyone we come into contact with is dealing with some kind of something, some kind of stress in their lives. Something, something's going on in their lives that is a pain in the neck. So if all of us you, me, all of us, if all of us would extend each other just a little bit of extra grace, a little bit of kindness, some mercy, let's be merciful toward each other, that would be a really, really good thing.